Brian Bowersock, the auto man here. Today we're talking about proper diagnosis of your vehicle and common check engine light failures. Everybody hates to get in their vehicle, start driving down the road in that check engine light or malfunction indicator light or what, whatever you want to call it. There's multiple names for it depending on the manufacturer and how the light illuminates. But when it does come on, it's telling you that the computer in the vehicle or one of the modules in the vehicle has picked up a concern with your vehicle. That needs to be addressed. It could be a major concern, could be a minor concern. There are so many things that can cause a check engine light on a vehicle. We have multiple modules on vehicles now. So therefore, when they pick something up, the light will come on. Anything from throttle body issues, as most folks know these days, we uh, do not have throttle cables anymore. Everything is drive by a wire and controlled by what's called a PCM or powertrain control module. There's control modules for the steering. A lot of vehicles steering now is not hydraulic any longer. It's all electric and electronic. Um, all the emission control and drivability components on the vehicle are controlled by the powertrain control module or one of the other modules on the vehicle, along with the body control module, excessive modules. Anyway, when we are having a problem on a vehicle, we want to get it looked at properly and diagnosed properly. In the long run, it will save you money. I'm Brian Bowersock with the West Automotive Group. For the latest automotive news and helpful tips, watch for The Auto Man, Fridays on the CW San Diego, sponsored by the West Automotive Group.